We must define good and goodness. Also, isn't this how humanity got into the whole predicament that we're in now? Adam and Eve judged for themselves what was right, good, and true rather than listening and obeying God who created them, who knew what he created them for and had richly given them all things to enjoy. They're pursuing autonomy and self-determination. Rejecting God's limitations on them is what brought sin and brokenness into the world. So when people talk about the biblical sexual ethic being good for people, what we mean, what I mean this morning, is that God defines goodness for us as our Father, our loving Creator. And He has put restrictions and limits on our freedom, not to keep us from blessing, but to preserve us for it. 